Live from the local station, News for Jax starts now. Right now on News for Jax at 11, this man is speaking out about his ex-wife. She is charged in connection with the beating death of this elderly woman. I was pretty sure that, you know, if, if Jake had done something like murder, Kelly was going to try to help him. Police arrested 42-year-old Jacob Javers nearly two weeks ago. Investigators say that he beat his 72-year-old mother to death with a hammer. Janice Hayes' body was found inside their West Side apartment. Chaver's girlfriend, 33-year-old Kelly Oberaker, is charged with tampering with evidence. And News for Jax reporter Corley Peel spoke with Oberaker's ex-husband, who says that he spoke with her during the days surrounding Hayes' murder. Oberacher's ex-husband lives in Ohio and they have been divorced for a few years, but he says they still keep in touch because they have a seven-year-old daughter together. Records show that Kelly Oberacher has been in jail in the past for drugs and her involvement in a multi-state rental car and bank fraud scheme, but her ex-husband never thought that she'd end up in jail in connection to a murder. Roughly three weeks ago starts William Oberacher's timeline of the day surrounding Janice Hayes' murder. It begins with a phone call from his ex-wife, Kelly Oberacher. On uh, the 5th of September, approximately 11.55 p.m. is when Kelly first contacted me that she had been um, kicked out of Miss Hayes' home. Kelly Oberacher lived at Hayes' West Side apartment with her boyfriend, Hayes' son, Jacob Chavers. During the phone call, Oberacher says Kelly asked for money. She asked for money for her hotel room for the night for her and Jake. Considering his ex-wife's previous drug charges, Oberacher refused to send her money. On September 8th, Oberacher says Kelly asked for money again. On the 10th, William Oberacher gets a call from Kelly's father asking him to send her money. Oberacher says he was hesitant, but sent it. I Western Union her $150. Under the premise it was supposed to be for a motel room. The next day, on the 11th, he says Kelly calls again, asking for $20. It was very quiet. There was no outside noise, so she was inside someplace. And I heard Jake's voice real quick, but it wasn't close to her. It was a little bit further away, like he was answering a door. And then she hung up the phone. That was the last time Oberacher says he heard from Kelly. Out of suspicion, that night, Oberacher looked at JSO's inmate page and saw his ex-wife had a tampering with evidence charge. Her boyfriend, Jacob Chavers, also listed for second-degree murder. I was shocked. Police say Chavers is accused of beating Janice Hay to death with a hammer. Police say he and Kelly Oberacher are accused of living in the apartment with Hayes' dead body before she was discovered during a well-being check. It was chilling when I found out on the 12th that it was his own mother. So to imagine her sitting there with, you know, in, inside the same area as the corpse of the, her boyfriend's mother, that was chilling. That was absolutely... William Oberacher says he hopes this crime will be a turning point for his ex-wife and that she'll get better so that she can be reunited with their daughter. Kelly Oberacher is being held here in Duval County Jail on a roughly $100,000 bond. Jacob Chavers is being held without bond. Reporting live, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.